yeah good evening so in today's session we will discuss uh, we will continue the discussion on risk v architectural design using verlog so in this session uh, we will start with the discussion of the modules uh, which are called arithmetic logic unit we will see how to design this arithmetic logic unit and register file unit register file unit and uh, we will also see uh, one more unit called control unit we will just briefly see what is this control unit and instruction memory unit okay instruction memory unit so in previous session we have started with the discussion of this uh, instruction fetch unit and we have also discussed about what is this stop model and uh, we have also started with the instruction fetch unit but uh, from this instruction fetch unit we have seen that we are getting this pc signal okay so this pc signal is given to our so this from this instruction fetch unit our pc signal is given to our instruction memory unit right so let's see the internal architecture of this instruction memory unit okay so how this instruction memory unit is implemented so coming to this im which is instruction memory unit imu okay so let's say this is our imu now uh, yeah so this is the code of my imu okay so for this input is clock and pc so where this pc is coming from from the instruction fetch unit and reset reset is coming from top and output uh, the output of this model is instruction code so let me draw it here so clock which is coming from the top module and this is reset which is also coming from top module and pc pc signal which is of 32 bits which is coming from IFU instruction fetch unit we have seen in our previous session right and the output of this IFU is instruction code instruction code okay instruction code which is of 32 bits okay which is of 32 bits okay so this is my IFU okay so in this IFU my input is clock PC reset and output is instruction code okay so in this I have declared uh, a internal memory of uh, eight bit width and total one hundred nine locations. So in this IM IMU, what I have done is I have declared a memory internal memory of width eight bit and total number of locations number of locations one hundred nine. Okay. It's upon you how many instructions you want to uh, you want to store. You can uh, create that many number of locations, right? So before going to this, we will see uh, how I'm uh, going to store this. So as discussed in the previous session, this instruction memory unit is basically a ROM. This instruction memory unit is basically a ROM read-only memory. That is, after applying the reset signal, all the instructions all the instructions are by default stored inside this IMU unit. All the instructions are by default stored in, in this instruction memory unit. So you can see here at the positive edge of the clock, if reset signal is applied, then I'm automatically storing all the instructions. So, okay. So we will start with basic R type instructions. So from this session, uh, we will start with R type instruction. So we will see how this R type instruction is getting implemented with the help of all the modules. Okay. So first we will start with this R type instructions. Okay. So you know already uh, the format of this R type instructions. Let me draw it again for you. So function 7 RS2 RS1 function 3 rd output so this is the format for r type instruction right so this is a format for r type instruction function 7 rs2 rs1 function 3 rd and output this function 7 
is of uh, 31 down to 25 and this is uh, 24 down to 20 and this is 19 down to 15 and this is 14 down to 12 11 down to 7 6 down to 0 7 bits okay so total 32 bits instruction okay total 32 bits instruction but what is the size of our instruction memory unit so what is the width of the instruction memory unit width of IMU is 8 bit right so before that uh, we need to frame a instruction in binary so here uh, in the code you can see I have framed a uh, binary uh, R type instruction in binary which is here I have written in hexadecimal format that is double zero nine four zero triple three okay so I will write it here so the R type instruction I have written in binary format I am representing it in hexadecimal format for now so it is double zero nine four zero triple three this is in hexa form okay so total one two three four five six seven eight each digit represents four binary right so that's why uh 32 bits okay so total 32 bits okay this is hexa representation okay do remember this this is hexa representation 0x 00940333 you can uh, actually frame your own instruction so accordingly uh, i have made my instruction okay so this is 00940333 okay this instruction so at every location at third location i am storing 8 bits 4 plus 4 8 and in second location i am storing 8 bits first location i am storing 8 bits and zeroth location i am uh, storing 8 bits so total here r type instruction total four locations it is taking so total four locations it is taking and how many bits 32 bits okay total four locations is it clear so like this i am storing my uh, instruction r type instruction r type value uh, in my ROM or IMU instruction memory unit, right? So how to uh, fetch this instruction out of this IMU with the help of program counter PC? So I will show that uh, instruction fetch unit as shown in the previous uh, session. So here my PC will increment normally if it is not a branch instruction or jump instruction then it will obviously it will be R type instruction or I type instruction right. So my PC will increment by PC equal to PC plus 4. So initially what is the value of PC? So initially my value of PC is equal to 0. Okay. So do remember this. Initially what is the value of my PC which is equal to 0. Now see this logic. So here you can observe. So this is instruction code, which is the output of my IMU, right? So instruction code from memory, I am fetching my instruction PC plus three, memory of PC plus three, comma, memory of PC plus two, comma, memory of PC plus one, comma, memory of PC. I'm concatenating this. So this operation is called concatenation operation. Okay. So here PC value is zero. I will write it here. So instruction code which is equal to concatenation of memory of PC plus 4 comma memory of PC plus 3 comma memory of PC plus 2 comma memory of so here it is 3 2 1 and memory of PC. So what is our initial value of PC? Which is 0. Okay. So what are all the locations you are fetching? Memory of 0. You are concatenating memory of 0, memory of 0 plus 1, 1, 2 and 3. 
you are fetching the instruction from this four locations and you are concatenating and you are assigning it to output which is instruction underscore port okay so this instruction is the output of instruction memory unit imu okay so this is the output of this im i hope this is clear we are talking about uh, r type instruction so now i am focusing up to r only okay so this is the r type instruction in which r type i am talking about addition okay so this is addition operation so i will say how uh, this is addition operation for now imu also don't know whether it is addition operation subtraction operation r type of operation it doesn't know anything we are just fetching the instruction which is stored inside this imu okay so this is the output we are getting the instruction okay now what happening so this instruction will be collected this output uh, from this module is collected in the top okay here you can see i have instantiated this imu so here i am collecting it instruction underscore out i have created a um, wire variable instruction underscore out and instantiated here instruction memory so i am collect i am collecting it from top module i am collecting in the top module so i'll show in the block diagram also so after fetching the instruction from the instruction memory with the help of ifu i am collecting this instruction inside this top okay inside this top module i am getting the instruction okay and storing in the top module not storing actually i am uh, collecting it uh, i am getting it in the uh, top module okay now what happens now so after uh, the instruction getting out of the uh, top module uh, getting out of the instruction memory like this now this uh, instruction out is given to the control unit okay here you can see instruction out we are not giving the entire instruction to the control unit we are uh, dividing it so we are giving instruction out 31 down to 25 14 down to 12 six down to zero now let's see why we are giving only this uh, particular and why we are dividing this instruction and only we are giving this particular uh, instructions so let me show yeah so this is r type right now so what are we giving 31 down to 25 31 down to 25 so we are giving function 7 this field value and uh, 14 down to 12 14 down to 12 is this function 3 this field value and 6 down to 0 that is this one op code value okay so we are collecting the instruction from the imu unit into the top and from there we are uh, basically slicing the instruction slicing the register and we are giving it to the control unit so this is how we are giving only the particular values that is function 7 function 3 and op code okay and where else we are giving this instruction i will show you here in the data part also we are giving this instruction 19 down to 15 24 24 down to 20 11 down to 7 where is it so wait a minute i will show yeah what are all, what are all we giving 19 down to 15 so this is 19 down to 15 that is rs1 this slice we are giving to data part and 24 down to 20 this is rs2 rs2 we are giving and 11 down to 7 this rd so we are giving this three slices so first slice that is function 7 function 3 and op code we are slicing it from the instruction and we are giving it to control unit next what we are doing we are slicing the instruction and giving rd1 sorry rd rs1 rs2 to our data path unit okay so this this is what we are uh, doing now so immediate value of this all we will discuss when we are discussing about i type instructions okay so i hope this is clear what we how we are getting the instruction out of the imu unit and what we are going to do with in uh, that particular fetched instruction 
I hope that is clear. Okay. So after uh, giving it, uh, we will see what this control unit is doing with that particular instruction. Uh, we will see in the upcoming sessions. Okay. So that's all for this session. So don't get confused with this. Uh, so if you are getting confused, please watch this video again. So if you are having any doubt, you can comment in the comment section or uh, you can ping me on Telegram. Okay. So we'll discuss the remaining part in upcoming sessions. Okay. Thank you.